So I think that's all the supplies collected from inside the lumber mill. I don't think I've left anything back there. The only thing left to do is collect all of our little chests that are around the edge that have got all our building supplies in and we can take these home and then we can start work on the rest of the things for the lumber mill. So let's just collect the rest of this stuff. Oh yeah, that is the outside looking really tidy now. Awesome. So hello everyone, it's Jack here and welcome to another episode of Jack's World. If you saw the last episode, you'll have seen me building this little lumber mill behind me and a lot of you actually really seem to enjoy that. So uh, great, it's glad to see that you like this lumber mill and thanks for all the positive support on the previous episode. That is really appreciated. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be setting up all of the machines within this lumber mill. We're going to be taking all our supplies back home and then we're going to craft up some sawmills. We're going to get all the automation set up within here and we're going to get this into a fully fledged working lumber mill. I think that's going to be awesome. So uh, instead of standing around here doing absolutely nothing, let's get back home and start making some stuff. So I'm just walking back home and I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I've been working on since you last saw me. So I've gone ahead and built this entire path that goes from the lumber mill all the way to there and that's something I did very shortly after building the lumber mill. And uh, I made this just because it was a little bit difficult to go through the forest back and forth, back and forth. I was getting lost a little bit so I thought a path would make it a little easier and I've added all these little barriers around just to make it a little bit more defined and I kind of like it, it's nice. And it also means that because we've got a path which goes all the way through this forest we can build some other buildings on the way here and use this path for not just going to the lumber mill so I think that's going to be something cool to do but it's definitely not something we're going to do in the near future it's something we'll do once we've got the lumber mill automated and also once we've got a few more important things set up so I'm going to continue my way back home and I will meet you once we've got some of the stuff ready to start making our machines so I'm back home in my cozy little mine you know what it's not really a cozy little mine it's a horrible dark place which is damp and it's not very nice so I think something I want to do soon is move out of here, but where to? I don't know yet, we'll have to figure that out. But before we do that, we actually need to finish work on the lumber mill, and to uh, continue the work on the lumber mill, we're going to need some sawmills. Uh, so let's go ahead and make some of those. There's actually a couple of different sawmills we can make. There's the mariculture ones, which are cool. Uh, there's the thermal expansion ones, but I want to go with mechanism. I've not really done much with mechanisms. So that's why I'm so eager to try different things out from that. So I've got a few different things here that we're going to use. Uh, first thing we're going to need is a couple of steel casings for this. So let's make a couple of those. And then we're also going to need some enriched alloy and a bunch of uh, different circuits as well. So let's have a look how we make those. Uh, we want these ones just here. And we're going to need like um, six circuits. So let's go ahead and grab some advanced alloy out of here. And some redstone out of one of these chests. Uh, there we go. And we can get some of these circuits going on. Now once we've got these sawmills we're going to need a way of powering them. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, be very cheeky about this. And steal one of my uh, windmills that I've got up top. Because I'm not really making use of all of them. And I think it'd be cool for us to uh, go ahead and use a couple of those. So that should be fine. That shouldn't be too much of a big deal. Uh, I'm also going to need some iron to finish this off. So let's go and grab some of that. Uh, there we go. Let's go and get that. Awesome. So we should be able to go ahead and get this thing made now. We don't actually need too much stuff, which is awesome. So that's one, two, and three sawmills. Brilliant. Now we can upgrade these and I think that's something I actually want to try out. So I've got some gold and osmium dust in here. Got a bunch of glass and I've also got the rest of these enriched alloy. So uh, let's go and make some speed upgrades first of all. I'm not going to upgrade these too crazily because obviously the more you upgrade them the more power they use. But we should be able to get away with a couple of really basic upgrades for these. So let's go and make uh, a couple of these speed upgrades. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And let's make some energy upgrades as well. And these aren't too bad if I can just find out where they are. They're just there. Brilliant. So these are going to go straight in the machines once we actually place them down, which is awesome. Uh, once we've got these going on, I think what we'll do is we'll want to hook up some automation to these machines too. So before we leave the mine, I actually am going to need some other stuff for that. So uh, I'm going to need some power cable. I'm going to need the windmill from up above. I'm going to need a bunch of these item ducts and matic servos and probably a chest as well. So let's see if we've got one of those laying around. Uh, we can always make one. Brilliant. Uh, I've also got all this timber as well that I want to use for something too. I'm going to need a bunch of better barrels and those better barrels are going to be used to store all the produce that we're going to get from all these sawmills. So let's go and make some of those or we'll at least have a look what we need for those and then we'll make them when we get over to the sawmill. So if we take a look at these, we're going to need a bunch of logs, some chests. So all I'm going to do is bring a bunch of these different types of planks of wood with me. Uh, we've got tons of them from working in the forest and working with the lumber mill, which is awesome. Uh, what else? We've got all those spruce planks there. We might need a couple of those. And I'm also going to want to bring some iron with me. 
And that should be everything that we need. I don't think we'll need anything else to work on the um, lumber mill. I think this is going to be all the items we need to go ahead and set up the automation. So I'm going to head back over there. I'm going to grab one of my windmills on the way over there. Unfortunately, it is raining, so we're going to be working outside in the rain. Brr, I hate the rain. It's horrible. But for now, let's go and grab one of these windmills. Brilliant. We've got some cable. And let's go ahead and finish off automating our lumber mill. Oh, finally, we're back in the dry under the shelter of our lumber mill. Now, you'll see there are a few little tweaks that I've made since I actually built this. I added a few more walls coming down this side just to make it a little bit more boxed in because we're going to have all our storage over here. Uh, and then probably the machines out here in the open so it would look like we've got the timber coming in from one side and going into the machines and so on. So I think that's what I'm going to go with and we're going to set those up now. So we've got our chest. I'm going to put this here and this is going to be our input for the system. And then we're going to want a ton of item ducts coming from here. We're also probably going to have to go back out in the rain to set up this uh, windmill. So where can we put this? I think what we'll do is we'll put it just out of sight around the side. We don't have to worry too much about it. And we'll put it down. Let's go for just here awesome I'll have to bring some cable from this too uh, and run this underground to our power so I will set that up in a second or two that is now gonna charge up or whatever and get running and meanwhile we can go ahead and set our sawmills up so the sawmills are something that I want to put down uh, here let's go for here and here we'll have the inputs going into the top of these so we're gonna want to tear up our wondrous creation and start destroying the floor, which is going to be slightly disappointing, but no worries. We are going to rebuild this eventually. And then we'll run some item ducts going down this way. This should be okay. And then these can go directly into the back of all these machines and can be used for the inputs to these. So we'll just quickly go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff just here. Oh, look at this mess under here. <laughs> I need to tidy up the basement for this place. Okay, so that is all of our item ducts. Let's just quickly get back up here. We can start setting these up. So, up we go. And uh, what I'm going to need to do is just quickly bring this down from here. And we can run this all the way to the back of these machines. Now, what this input chest is going to be, this is going to be like a kind of a buffer. So, we can put our own items in there if we want to process them. But also, if we have an automated tree farm in the future, we can run it into the back of that chest. And we don't have to worry about loads of different inputs going to all these machines. It's literally just one place where everything goes. Which I think is going to be a really easy way of doing things. Okay, so we will just need to bring these up to the back of these machines. That's awesome. And then we can configure these mechanism machines for the input. Now, we have to keep some of the sides clear on these because we need to get power into these. We also need to get the items out of these as well. So we don't want to block in all the sides of these machines. But I think that's going to be okay as we've got it. So let's go and get back up here quickly. Uh, we'll get our servos. We only need one servo for now. And that just needs to go on that pipe just there. And we can literally just turn that around and set that to ignored. So that's going to send all the items out of that chest to these machines. And then all we have to do with these is configure them a little bit. So if we go into this tab just here, we can turn all these to grey. And what we can do is we can uh, turn auto eject on. And then this slot just here should be the back where these pipes are. Now I'm not sure if we can see it. don't think we'll be able to too much. But let's just go and have a quick look. We'll turn this to red. So the input of the machine wants to be red. And that's going to bring it into this slot just here, which is the processing slot. And we want it to be red just here. So that should work. So when we put items into this chest, they should eventually end up in this sawmill just here. So we'll test that. Meanwhile, let's go and get the other one set up in exactly the same way. So we want this to be red and that one to be red as well. And then we just need to do the same one for this as well. So these are actually relatively simple to set up. They're very similar to the machines we've already used in the past as well. So that's really awesome. A lot of the stuff is very, very similar. So hopefully we'll get the items ending up in here. These item ducts are pretty slow. Um, but hopefully that should happen soon. We should be able to see it yet. They have gone out of there. So they should end up in one of these machines pretty soon. So while we do that, I'm going to go ahead and set the power up for these. Hopefully we'll see some items appearing in these pretty soon and we can start using them for things. 
and then what we'll do is uh, we'll have a fully automated lumber mill which should be really awesome and yeah the items are ending up in there brilliant let's go ahead and turn on the power so this should now be powering the sawmill i've just ran all the cabling underground and this should now all be going to these machines so let's go ahead and check this out we may need a little bit more power i'm not sure if one windmill is going to be enough oh no that's definitely enough we can hear those from a mile away brilliant so that's now processing all our different types of timber that we need that is fantastic awesome now you'll see down here that this has changed quite a bit i actually went and took the time to go ahead and uh, tidy up the underside of um, the lumber mill well the basement and that is now ready to go i actually need to use the proper planks for this not those what do i need i need these awesome they all look similar <laughs> so i took the time to go ahead and tidy this little place up down here uh, i used these really really cheap cobblestone tiles from chisel they look a lot better than cobblestone though but they are still cobblestone so they're really really cheap and i used the bricks that we use for the rest of the sawmill as well so that is pretty much everything ready to go all we need to do now is sort out some type of storage for that so that's what i need to do now so i need to grab a bunch of these item ducts i think what i'm gonna do is run them from the sides of these machines here i've got to go and set up the machines properly of course but I might bring these down here, I think. We need some covers there, so that's something I'm going to have to go and make in a second. And then what we'll do is we'll just run one line of these item ducts down to that end there, and we'll set up a ton of barrels. Uh, so let's just get out of here. I did set up a carpenter's door here just to have a disguised entrance, and I don't know what's happening here. Some type of weird bug with the water, but it's fine, it's working. And we've got a little hidden door there that we can use to get in and out the basement, which is brilliant. So I'm going to go ahead and configure these machines. And the next thing I'm actually going to need is something called a saw. So let's go ahead and make one of those. I'm going to pop down a crafting table just here. And let's search for a saw quickly. So we need one of these. Let's see if we can find one. Uh, just a normal old iron saw should be fine. So we need some stone sticks. Ah, uh, okay, I'm going to have to go back to home and smelt up some stone. Okay, that's not too big of a deal. So after that quick supply run back home to go and grab a saw, I am back at my lumber mill and let's get started actually using this saw for what we wanted to use it for. So first things first, a saw can go ahead and saw up blocks into different types of shapes. So we can get a half slab from that, then we can saw this in half again, and you've probably already seen these before, but they are really cool. And what we can use them for is to separate pipes, but we can also use them to make some covers like this. And the reason we're going to want these is just to tidy up these ugly little gaps that we've got around all of the machines. So let's go and quickly hop back downstairs. We can actually put a couple of them just here, and then here, and doesn't it make it look a lot better? This is awesome. So we can do this and we can just literally put this around all the machines. And then what we're going to want to do with the rest of this timber is we're going to go and want uh, to make a barrel. So let's go and just quickly sort this out. In fact, what I'll most likely do is sort this lot out in a second or maybe just get rid of one of the things. Let's hop downstairs. It might be a little easier. Let's go under here through the glitchy water and let's go and just tidy these pipes up quickly. Everything always has to look good with this. That's the main purpose. And then what we need to do is we need to separate these pipes. So they're the pipes where the logs come through uh, and go into the machine. So we don't want those connecting to these. So what we can do is we can literally just put a cover there and it will separate them, which is brilliant. So we can do this just here. Awesome. So that is all the piping set up. We just need to tidy things up a little bit more. And then we need to make all of our barrels. So what are we going to use? Well, we're going to use the better barrels from Jabba. So we'll get those done in a little second or two we don't want that connecting neither because that's going to be bad for everything there we go okay well let's head upstairs and we'll get our barrel set up we're going to want to bring this item duct all the way over to the barrel so i might as well do that while i'm actually down here it saves us a trip back down to the basement so we'll just quickly bring this along here and we'll run this all the way down to this other pipe brilliant uh, we just need to connect this one up there we go. So that is all the piping done. We just need to make our barrels and I'm not quite sure how many of them I'm going to make. Now we're going to want one for each different type of wood obviously. So what is that? That's four. We're going to be getting sawdust so that's five. And then we probably want a few little extra ones for anything else or in case any of them fill up and we don't want to upgrade them. So let's go ahead and make a full wall of these barrels. What is this? This is seven blocks wide. So let's make 14 of them. That should be plenty. So the way we make the barrels is we need some half slabs and we're going to want to turn these vertical spruce planks back to normal ones because we might as well make use of them so there we go 
Let's go and get some half slabs. So we need that. We're also going to want some chests as well. So we'll get a full block of these. And you know what I should be doing? I should be using the sawmills. We just went and spent all the time making them. And then we haven't even been using them. Wow, that's wasteful. Okay, well, what I need to do is I need to turn these into some chests. And we need 14 chests in total for everything that we're going to make. So that's 16. And then we need... Well, we've got there. We've got plenty, haven't we? Uh, and then we just need to make the barrels. So the barrels are really simple. All we need is some of these normal logs. And we need a chest and half slabs. And we can get these made. So let's go and make 14 of these. There we go. We're also going to need a ton of item ducts too. And we can get this set up. So all we need to do is literally put all these barrels down here. And then the only thing left to do once we've put these barrels down is configure the machines. So that they can output everything to these barrels. So let's just grab those. And we'll just quickly place these down. One by one by one. <laughs> now, with all these carpenter's blocks, something I noticed is that there is a kind of a lag spike when you place new blocks near them, which is really odd. I've never noticed it before, so I don't know if it's just something with this mod pack or something in this patch. Uh, if any of you have been having the same problem, then let me know, because I would like to get it fixed. It's really weird why it's doing it. It may just be a sign that I'm using way too many carpenter's blocks. I don't know. It's like, Jack, you shouldn't be designing stuff. Okay, there we go. So that is all of our barrels. And then all we need to do is configure these machines. So we've got the outputs on these. And all we need to do is set the output of these machines, which is the blue slot, to this side. So we want the blue going to there. And we want to set this to blue just here. This one I'm going to set into the right again. So we want blue and we want blue again. And then this one needs to be on the left because there's no item duct on the right. So blue and then blue again. Brilliant. So all those items should be now leaving these and going to the barrels. Uh, we can lock the barrels by shift right clicking them. Now I'll put a padlock in there which means no other items will turn up in the barrels. So what we want to do is because we've only got the sawdust and the planks, we want to lock all these other barrels and have the sawdust and the planks just go to only two of them. So that should be fine, that should work. And then when we get more different types of planks in there, we get spruce planks, we can unlock a barrel, put stuff in there. And that should work particularly well. Awesome, so we've got the sawdust in there, we should see oak wood turning up in there in a little bit. But for now though, that is pretty much everything with the sawmill, I'm really happy with this. All I've got to do is put a few final finishing touches on this. Talking of finishing touches, something I actually forgot was to add the upgrades to these machines. So we put one, two in there, those upgrades will get used up and upgrade the machine and we can do this for each and every one of them. So I hope you all can hear me over these sawmills. I think that is going to be everything for the lumber mill. We've got our automation set up, we've got our machine set up, and we've got our storage set up, which is absolutely awesome. Other than that, though, I hope you've all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, then don't forget to drop a like down below. It helps out a bunch. And if you have any suggestions for the series, then feel free to post those in the comment section as well. Other than that, though, I hope you've all enjoyed the episode, and I will see you all next time.